Peace be to the elect of the nation of Israel, which consists of you so called Negroes, Latinos, and the Americans. And of course, those have been scattered amongst the heathen, which, of course, lineage go back to Yaquab or Jacob, which is, of course, the progenitor for the 12 tribes of Israel. All praises to our power, Yahweh Bashem Shai. And of course, uh, bless the Most High, Yahweh, and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, in the name of the Holy Spirit, Rechakodash. Which Yahweh is the true, almighty, and powerful name of the Heavenly Father, who the world ignorantly calls God. And his only begotten son's name is Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. That, of course, is their Amath Shem Yim. All right, their pure names. All right, and the, of course, Paleo Hebrew. All right, uh, which we are, of course, calling upon, being that we got our language returned back to us. All right, so we're calling on, of course, Yahweh Shem Yashai for salvation. Of course, I want to give double honors to our elders and apostles at Great Millstone, who were well. Shin Yikabad, Laz Shalayach, Yim Nawa, was a Kwan Yim Nawa, Shalayach Shala. Of course, peace and Shalom Wa Chasai, peace and salutation, or peace and mercy, Slakia, to the Bachayarium, the Ha Bachayarium, which is the elect, the Lord's elect of the nation of Israel. Shemiah Mafa from the Great Millstone Plain Tables Camp. My name is Mafa from the Great Millstone Plain Tables Camp, located here in the city of Philadelphia. Baba Ball in Babylon. Coming again with another lesson to the Chakodash, which we have here. Uh, Senegal conducting um, active shooting drills, martial arts training attacks. Alright, so. You have it where the synagogue, which a synagogue, basically, I believe, synagogue means house. All right, which you have it where, of course, they uh, them in question, which is the Jewish, are um, actually uh, they congregate within. Um, they, are, of course, are doing martial arts training following attacks. It says in wake of two synagogue shootings over the last night. Our last eight months, Jewish congregations across the country have been actively preparing for more violence. All right, so you could already put that in question. Why, of course, is um, they preparing for more violence? Do they, of course, have a inside, okay, um, information on what is to come? All right, which you have it where. Um, we are obviously at the end of the age of Esau Edom. Okay, if you don't know who Esau Edom is, all right, you can uh, uh, clearly figure it out. All right, those who, of course, uh, have been claiming the heritage of the biblical Israelites. Okay, that being these uh, Jewish. Okay, that is all right. We already know that the tribe of Judah is. Uh, the actual um, Negro, all right. That's just one tribe, all right. Or the tribe of Yahweh. Now you have it where, you know, Israeli. Okay, this is what we're speaking on right here. All right, Jewish or Israeli. Okay, which you have it where we, of course, being the Israelites, we claim to be the actual Amath, I'm Yum of Ye of Yahweh Bashem Shai. The true people of Yahweh Bashem Yashai, the Lord of the Bible, of uh, the Lord of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. All right, and we of course claim to be the ancient people. All right, of the Lord. All right, you have it. There's modern people in our land, which is uh, Israel, who are claiming uh, to to claiming actually claiming the land and also. Uh, claiming our identity, but we know b based on prophecy, we know that's not true. Isn't it true? Because you can go into various scriptures, which I, I shall bring out one of them in this lesson, um, which will you know be one that will 
more so prove that you know they're not of course the true people okay now going on it says in may we report and this 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 of course is for educational purposes all right because you have it where you have the whole youtube censorship which goes out uh you know they of course youtube are cracking down on hate speech and such all right this is for educational speaking which is a draw out all right which this is for the elect kaya a khayar all right of the nation of israel so you know you have it where if you speak out for the truth of course you're deemed as speaking shana all right which is hate all right it would like which has to say scripture as it says that am i your enemy because i'm i tell you the truth i'm roughly paraphrasing but anyway going on not to make things uh too long and drawn long and drawn out it says in may we report tactical rabbi uh rezi cohen or raz zell cohen a firearms instructor who told the west side los angeles or they got chabad congregation in wake of the poway california synagogue shooting that left one deed uh, it says we don't want to be victims adding we need to protect ourselves I thought now okay it says the benefit of having an individual in a synagogue with a gun is that fighting they're fighting for something it said Cohen adding they're much more willing to defend their kids than a person who is paid $15 an hour alright so you have it them advocating having someone uh, in a synagogue with a gun, all right? Which, going on, it says, Meanwhile, congregations across the country are conducting active shooter drills according to the Times of, of Israel. All right, I got one precept, chut, pequod, to bring it do the spirit, Micah 4, and around 3. All right, Micah. Let's get 4. So it says here, Micah 4, and I want to start at the top. It says here, Ra'ash, or headings. It says here, but in the last days it shall come to pass that the mountain of the house of, Yah of Yahweh shall be established in the top of the mountains, uh, which is mountains represent governments in the scriptures. It says in hills are smaller countries, governments, all right? It says, and it shall be exalted above the hills, and people shall flow unto it. It says, and many nations shall come and say, come and let us go up to the mountain of Yahweh, into the house of the power of Yaquab, and he will teach us of his ways, and we will walk in his paths for the law, all right? Hatharah shall go forth out of Tzayawan, and the word of Yahweh from Jerusalem. You don't have that going on, okay? You don't have this uh, people going to, of course, uh, learn the ways of uh, the people of Yashala, all right? Meaning these modern day ones, okay? But they're claiming to be our people, all right? Or to be the power, the people of the of the Lord. You have it, in Micah four and three, which is the point. It says, and he shall judge among many people and rebuke strong nations afar off, and they shall beat their swords into plowshares. So a sword is a weapon, all right, which is to an instrument of mawath or death. It can bring forth damage, inflict punishment. It says into plowshares, into plowshare, dealing with a I believe that is a instrument for uh, our culture purposes. Okay, a plowshare. We got just oth here, which is just got plowshare. A uh, hoe, a hoe, our digging implement. All right. So going in, far going further. 
Korawai read and their spears into pruning hooks nation shall not lift up a sword against nation neither shall they learn any learn war anymore all right so learn which is lamad and you have malchama Mal malchama all right which uh learn is uh to be teach all right all right so this is this is this is clear here all right D you have it where obviously uh, if of course that was the true people of the lord you wouldn't have a uh, nation of course uh fighting uh, you have other nationalities fighting up against each other all right you have it where they wouldn't learn of war which in this case they of course are learning of war to protect themselves from you would say other nations are even of their own nation as is written in the scriptures that egyptian shall be against egyptian all right so this is confusion another precept you can bring uh out is uh when the righteous are in authority the people mourn but when the wicked are in bareth rule the people are the people huh, slack yeah people People, I roughly paraphrase. Slaki, let me just get the scripture. It's uh, yeah. I believe it's in the book of Proverbs. Yeah, Proverbs twenty nine and two. It says, uh, reading this here, it says, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. All right, so the people are glad. All right. Which rejoices Shemach, right? Yeah, Shemach. All right, which not the people, I'm. All right, which you have right here. I'm. Yep, I'm is right here. All right. Ricket is Rashai. All right. People rejoice, but when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. All right, and the people obviously are mourning, uh, dealing with which uh, that's a nach, which mourn mean a pain of a groaning, as you hear a, a coo, all right, um, and a barn and such moaning. That's who the people are, the new, because of course the wicked bear rule, because because we know the wicked are ruling, how Rashayim are ruling, okay. Which they are the Edomites, Adawamia, all right. The ones that that we're speaking of right now, I thought. All right, so going on. So we know these are not the true people, all right. So going on, it says here, and that should that basically right there should end my lesson on that on its own, all right. But going on, it says, after a span of eight months, that includes shootings at two synagogues in Park Pittsburgh and Poway, California. Congregations across the country are actively drilling their members on who to act if terror arrives at their doorstep. It says, some like Beth Hill or Beth or Beth L. It says, have run active shooting scenarios during services. Others have detailed plans in place should a uh, shooting occur. Others have trained a group of congregants on how to fight gunmen when they come through the door. So, you have it here that they're being drilling for if an act of terror arrives at their doorstep. Now, in the scriptures, it does speak of... Um, at the end, these things would, of course, occur. Terror in general, all right, this will be just one instance of a form of a terror. If it, of course, is true, that is, okay? Must, uh, must, uh, add, okay? Uh, wink, wink. <laughs> but anyway, going on, it says here, I'm gonna start here at, uh, Job 15 and 14. And, uh, go down from there. It says, what is man and that he should be clean? He which is born of a woman, that he should be righteous. It says, behold, he putteth no trust in the saints, yea, the heaven 
heavens are not clean in his sight. Alright, let me uh, skip down. This, this isn't the, where I want to actually primarily start. This is uh, right here. I'm going to start at 20, Job 15, or Iowa 15 and 20. It says, The wicked man travaileth with pain all his days, and the number of years is hidden to the, the oppressor. It says, A dreadful sound is in his ears, and prosperity, the destroyer shall come upon him, which that's, that prosperity, that, that destroyer would be, of course, Yahweh Shai. All right, so let me get a precept real quick. A kawash. Kawash, that is. <laughs> this is the book of Jeremiah. All right, uh, chapter four. And... I'm going to start at 5, point at 7. It says, Declare ye in Yahweh the Judah, and publish in Jerusalem, 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 and say, Blow ye the trumpet in the land, cry, uh, cry ye, gather together, and say, Assemble yourselves, and let us go into the defense city, set up the standard towards to Zion, or Zion, which means monument, retire, stay not. For I will bring an evil from the north and a great destruction. Verse 7. The lion, alright, that lion of Judah, it says, is come up with his thicket, and the destroyer of the Gentile is on his way, which is Yahweh Shai. And he is gone forth from his place to make thy land desolate, and thy city shall be made shall be laid waste without inhabitants. It says, yeah, that's basically it right there, all right? Which the Lord, Yahweh Shai, is going to bring forth much destruction, all right? Which we'll get another preset, but let me just, I want to just uh, stay on topic as much as possible. You know, it just is part of the topic as well, but just, uh, just to just keep things short and concise as possible. All right, going back to that dreadful sound. All right, when you, of course, have uh, you know these prophecies. Okay, that of course will be dreadful sound in his ears. You know, of course, because what we speak the words of Yahweh by Shemuel Shai, we're blowing them out the alarm. We're, of course, uh, have that banner. All right, it's truth. Um, you know, we're, we're of course, uh, have that, we're flying that flag, okay? It says here as an ensign, it says here, verse 22, it says, He believeth not that he shall return out of darkness, and he is waited for the, for of the sword. He wandereth abroad for bread, saying, Where is it? He knoweth that the day of darkness is ready at hand. It says, Trouble and anguish shall make him afraid. They shall prevail against him as the king ready to the battle. For he stretcheth out his hand against the power, the Most High, Yahweh by Shemuel Shai, and strengthened himself against the Almighty. Okay? So, the point here, trouble and anguish shall make him afraid. Okay? Which, when you have um, this right here, where it says that the congregation um, is drilling their members on how the act of terror arrives at their doorstep. All right. Because you have to understand that in the scriptures, it says this. You know, you have, I'm just going to read the scripture. This is uh, the book of Ecclesiastes and the Prophet, chapter 39, verse 28. It says here, there be spirits of Rechayim, which Rechayim means spirit, and Yom makes it plural. That are created, or ah, for vengeance, which is, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them, which Yahweh Shemuel Shai, all right, made 
these different spirits. Through, of course, Yahweh, through his son, Yahweh Shai, made these various principalities, okay? These different spirits, okay? Everything that you see before your eyes, all right? So, you have it where if there, of course, is a, a actual attack of terror, all right, a shooting, this, of course, is a spirit of vengeance that has been created for it. Create by the Lord to bring forth Mashapatyam judgment. Okay, there isn't there anything you can do about it? All right, I need no, no, no of preparedness can to you can do to, of course, uh, stop the wrath of Yahweh Shai. All right, it says uh, here that um, it was not a a high energy kind kind of catching people off guard kind of thing rabbi neil cooper of temple beth hill of uh, beth l in uh winwood pa which is pretty nearby you know uh says of a recent active shooter drill we also wanted to let people know more than any anything else that we're on top of this and we have a procedure we have people looking at it says active shooter drills uh, and typical rabbi, the typical rabbi aside, uh, congregations across the country are employing a range of security measures according to the times, which include locking doors, reinforcing windows, and hiring armed security. You gotta get so armed security for a church. All right. It says some congregations have encouraged members to carry handguns at services it says while others have installed new restrictions on carrying guns in the synagogue all right if you're of course your uh your strength in your rock supposed to be the lord yahweh shim yahweh shai well why of course you have carnal carnal weapons you got parishioners you know actually bringing guns to church <laughs> like it's the shooting range or something it says Krav McGraw, the Israeli, all right, which this is definitely is Israeli and Jewish, right? Military close quarters martial art is being taught in synagogues, I thought, now. It says, and so they just show some, basically, you know, Krav McGraw, I mean, they, well, they'll explain it. It says, uh, Ave Abraham. An Israeli martial art expert teaches Krav Maga. Israeli hand to hand combat system has taught self self defense courses to groups at more than 20 synagogues at, uh, in, in, in the New York City area. His course consists of six hour long classes for groups of congregants, which they can learn how to take down a shooter. He also uh, offers options of drilling the technique during services. The program is about is our cost of cost actually fifteen hundred to two thousand? Abraham teaches groups on how to collectively pence on an attacker from the side as he's eating the dory, then to tackle him and take his weapon. Basically, weapon disarmament and such. All right, that's heavy in Krav Maga. All right, he said that technique depends on more on sexual or good sense than that of physical strength. It says, who, those who aren't fighting, Abraham said, should lie on the ground and to be out of the line of fire. It says, people rarely rise on to the occasion during mass shootings, according to Michael Masters, uh, ex, ex, our ex, executive, our executive, sake, I can't even pronounce that, this is, Executive Director of Secure Community Network and Umbrella organization, organization that provides uh, guidance to Jewish institution on security procedures. They fall back to the level of training. Our goal is to give people a plan in their minds if the ever, event were ever to happen. They have a toolbox and they can uh, draw from effectively active shooter trainings often follow a mantra to run, hide, and fight which means to choose one of the three options. It says, and commit to one of it. 
or commit to it. Either run into a safe place, hiding somewhere, secure or fighting a gunman. These gunmen usually have uh, or high, or multiple uh, automatic weapons. You know, high power, fi fire power. All right. With these different various chart shootings, you know. But going on, uh, it says the 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 trainings complement active shooter drills that are taking place for years at schools, including Jewish ones. Now, I mean that's basically it. What I'm gonna bring up in this uh, particular reading there. All right, um, let's get some other scriptures. We'll go to the job. Uh, 18 Job 18 and 11 which reads here um, I'm gonna start here at 7 it says the steps of his strength shall be straightened and his own counsel shall cast him down right because you don't understand that this is a lord that's going to bring forth all these various forms of terror to Babal Babylon in various places okay it says for he cast for he is cast into a net by his own feet and he walketh upon a snare a trap it says the jinn shall take him by the heel and the robber shall prevail against him it says the snares laid for him in the groom and the trap for him in the way. Terror shall make him afraid on every side and shall drive him to his feet. So these speaks of these various forms of these terrorist attacks. Okay, terror shall make him afraid on every side. All right, which the word terror Mahabariath is the word that's uh, Balaha. All right, Balaha, which uh, means terror or destruction calamity or dreadful event okay a dreadful event will be you experiencing a a shooting you being amongst a shooting at a, a synagogue or something of that nature okay that's one form of a terror okay which the lord you know will bring okay must note put the spirits of vengeance on these different people that will do that okay but you see a lot of them are just Edomites, okay? Alright, now going on further. Um let's see if I got any other Proquadium. I think it's one last script scripture I'm gonna bring up and I'm just gonna close it out. Leave it simple to the as I did in point. The book of Psalms. Chapter 141 and 10. 141 and 10. Which it reads the last precept. I'm going to start here actually. I'm going to start at verse 8. It says Psalms 40, 141 and 8. It says, But mine eyes are unto thee, O Yahweh, O Yahweh the, the Lord. In thee is my trust. All right, and these people they trust in guns. They don't even believe in Yahweh. All right. It says, "Leave not my soul destitute. Keep me from the snares, these various forms of traps, which they have laid for me, and the gens of the workers of iniquity, which are the Edomites, the wicked. All right, they are workers of iniquity because they plan in these different various things." And you have it where a lot of these things, these various forms of these different attacks and such, I know they're going to bring up different uh, false allegations against Akim. All right, when these different forms of terror, not speaking of this specifically, but in general, these uh, different attacks uh, that's going to be, of course, occur within biblical prophecy. All right, we're going to get falsely blamed for them as the apostles and elders have. Um, been if you go back to their uh account back with 9 11, all right. So you know, Dawa Da giving a, a, a Thapalathium, uh, a Thapalath, a prayer or his prayer, Thapalathwa, 
all right for that it says keep me from the snares which they have laid for me and the gins of the workers of iniquity let the wicked all right the wicked okay right here rashayim yachad which is with all all right it says let the wicked fall into their own nets while that whilst that I withal escape all right and that's what we want ultimately we want them to fall in their own trap to be exposed Lord of course destroy them and us of course we receive salvation all right so with that you know hopefully you're edified call all you mind you how about you mouth shy but you're gonna dash and the blanche that was an apostle that great millstone synagogues are conducting active shooter drills martial arts training following attacks all right Note that, that, that Micah 4 and 3. Alright. Shalom.